Once a bitter battle between the Elm City and its police union is now behind them. After working without a contract for years and finally agreeing to a new one this summer, New Haven Mayor Tony Harp and union leadership signed off on the new deal just two hours ago. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland, who is, is live now with how both sides are feeling. Matt? Well, Denise and Dennis, uh, everyone involved says it's a relief to have this done. With the contract now signed, New Haven police officers will see their first pay raise in a little more than three years. That's exactly how long they had been working without a contract. Now, as you said, uh, Mayor Tony Harp, along with Elm City Local Police Officers Union, they held a signing ceremony this afternoon celebrating the new contract, and they say it's been a long time coming. The last contract expired in 2016, and officers had been working without one for more than three years when the union overwhelmingly agreed to the city's proposal back in August by a vote of 259 to 13. The big issue, pay, pension, benefits, and the hope is this contract will not only attract young officers but retain seasoned ones. As part of the new contract, the retroactive pay raises will be spread out over the next three years, and it eliminated a step for new officers, meaning they'll see their first raise quicker. And when it comes to those pensions, the minimum age to collect will now be 25 years in the department or 52 years of age. The contract also capped how many officers can retire each year. That's because with the contract on Certainty over the past few years, New Haven saw dozens of veteran officers retire and take jobs elsewhere. I believe that when you look at this contract, it's balanced, that we were all winners, but the biggest winners are the people of the city of New Haven. It makes us very competitive with not only surrounding towns, um, but our bigger cities, uh, the Waterbury's and Hartford's. Um, uh, I believe that um, we, we will thrive with uh, retention and should be uh, a place where people want to come. It has provided officers a measure of, of uh, stability and they can now focus on, on the business of, of doing their job. And this is a six year retroactive contract, so it runs through the end of June 2022. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.